In this video, we continue with Spring Data JDBC. So far we have only read data from the database. Now we start with the CRUD API. Create, Read, Update, and Delete. We start very simple with one table. So we created a new table in our database. Tutorial with two fields ID and title. We can go over and eclipse the classes it takes to create a Spring Data JDBC CRUD API. First, we have the entity tutorial. This record is all the fields of the table in the database. Next is the Interface Tutorial Repository. This one extends the list CRUD repository. In the Tutorial Service class we established a connection between the controller class and the database. We make the Tutorial Repository available with Constructor Dependency Injection by the required args constructor annotation of Lombok. The first two methods are for read. Load a list of tutorials and load one tutorial. The next are create one tutorial and create a list of tutorials. Then comes update and patch. And finally delete one tutorial and delete all tutorials. The last class is the tutorial controller. This is where all the data is made available. For each method in the service class we have a method in the controller class. Load a list of tutorials. Load one tutorial by ID. Create one new tutorial and create a list of new tutorials. Update and patch one tutorial. Delete one tutorial and finally delete all tutorials in the database table. All the methods of this controller are still very simple because we don't take errors into account yet. We can now start our project a first time and see what happens. After starting our project, we can do some tests in Insomnia. We start with the get request tutorial. This request returns all the tutorials in the database. In this case, this is a list of four tutorials. The next get request is tutorial by ID6. We see the tutorial with ID6. Then we can look at creating one tutorial. Note especially that the ID in this case is null. Then we test the creation of a list of tutorials. Again note that the ID is null. Next is an update of tutorial with ID 5. Here you can see the difference between create and update. Then a patch request for tutorial with ID 6. This is the same as an update. After all these requests we are going to look at the get request from the beginning. We see that all the changes worked. Finally we have a delete request to remove the tutorial with ID 4. And a delete request to delete all the tutorials in the database. Finally, we do another get request and see that the database table is empty. Thanks, this is the end of this video. In the next one we will create a CRUD API with a one-to-one -one relationship between two database tables.